From the uh, Katanga Copper Crescent in the Congo, now, strangest piece. Uh, let me just get the, the color. We either have major overexposure or underexposure. We have a matrix of a dolomite, a little bit of calcite formation on this back section. Be some calcite. And sitting on there would be, I'm not quite sure, I'm not all that good with colors, but there seems to be some pink. So this could be some, a very thin layer of cobalt and calcite with uh, a, a druzy quartz over it, also some chrysocolla associated. And that would be definitely be from the Tenke from Gurumu mine in the Katsanga. Now, at Tenke, on this particular section where there was a coating of the druzy quartz, you'd have the, the, first of all, the dolomite matrix, and on top of that you'd have a thin layer of cobalt and calcite, as typically happens. Then coating the cobalt and calcite would be minor chrysocolor, giving an almost bluish undertone. And then you'd have the whole lot uh, dusted with a layer of druzy quartz crystals. Aesthetically rather appealing, nice little vague, all the way from the deposits of Tenke Fungurumo. Tenke Fungurumo mine actually in the Katanga Copper Crescent. Congo, let's just see how close we can get on this one. Uh, uh, so you, you'll find uh, uh, these are always best enjoyed when held in hand, yet you are well advised to watch the videos because the still pictures, this is exactly what happens. Uh, there are sections which blow out from a color, uh, uh, turn too white, or they blow out all the color and then underexpose, overexpose the color.